Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel today. My name is Kosi. In case I've seen this video for the first time, thank you so much for stopping by. Please don't forget to subscribe. On today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys on how to make this off shoulder organza ruffle. So if you want to know how this was achieved, keep on watching and let's get into today's video. And please do not forget to subscribe. Hit on the subscribe button. Subscription is free. Just hit on the subscribe button so you get more notifications when new video drops. So guys, to make these ruffles, you'll be needing your organza fabric and here I have two and a half yard for this organza as you can see. So I already went ahead to iron it out. So right here, as you can see, it's folded by two. Just go ahead and fold it by two. Head over to the sewing machine and sew it with half of an inch. So guys, after I was done sewing with half of an inch, this is what I have as you can see. Can you see what I have here? so after this i'm going to turn it over to the right side i've turned it to the right side and this is what it looks like so the next thing to do right now is to go ahead and fold it you get just go ahead and fold it as many times as it pleases you you get right now i folded it again and i'm going to continue folding till i get to the end of the organza After I was done folding, I'm going to go ahead and make my gather stitch at the top. I'll repeat the same thing on the down part and I'll be right back. Right here guys, I'm done making my gather stitch and this is what I have as you can see. So I did the same thing on the down part. I'm going to go ahead and trim off this rough edge here. I'm going to go ahead and trim it off just like you see me doing. Then after trimming it off, the next thing I'm going to do right here is I'm going to keep this aside and I'll work on the band. So right here, this is my band. I went ahead to cut out this long straight band as you can see. So I have my 3 inches for the wideness and I have my round shoulder measurements for the length with 20 inch sewing allowance. So right I'm going to go ahead and sew it up of an inch. I'm done sewing and this is where I am. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to the right side just like this and I'll go ahead and iron it as well. So right I'm done ironing and this is what I have. As you can see it's looking so relaxed and beautiful. So this is the back view. This is how it looks like. Right here I'll go ahead and measure the length to know if I have exactly the 30 eight inches i said and here i have that eight inches plus one inch sewing allowance you can see is 39. so what i'm going to do right now is to turn it the front view and i'm going to use my marker to make my lines you get you can go ahead and use your chalk why i used my marker is because um i want it to be very visible for you guys to see so firstly i am marking one inch line so after marking this one inch line, I am going to start marking like one and a half inch. You can mark one inch. Do not mark more than those inches I mentioned. Is either you mark one inch or you mark one and a half inch. You get just like you see me doing, guys. So after I was done doing this, the next thing I did was to count these lines. And after counting, I had 23 lines. You get. So here I'm going to be fixing my organza at those lines I just drill out do you get so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to bring my organza right here i'm going to bring my organza as you can see i'll just um stretch it very well and i'll place it like this so right here i'm going to start marking six six inches with my chalk just like this i'll continue marking six six inches like this until i get to the end of this organza After marking these lines, I am going to go ahead and make a gather stitch on each line as you can see. I'll continue making my gather stitch. Just sew a gather stitch on the line, each of the line, make a gather stitch. You get you get so after making my gather stitch, this is what I have as you can see. I made my gather stitch 
on all the lines I marked and I'm going to go ahead and start making the gathers like this. Just pull out one of the thread and go ahead and make the gathers as you can see. I know you guys know how to make your gathers. Just make it just like this. You get until you get to the end of the organza. I'm done gathering my organza and this is what it looks like as you can see so this is it guys I'm done doing this so guys next thing to do right now is that I am going to have to go ahead and start sewing this organza on top of each of the line I have like this. You continue doing this on each line as you can see. You get after running your gather stitch, you're going to see it on top of the lines. Do you get what I'm saying? So guys, right here I already went ahead to seal this. As you can see this is how it looks like and I just have two organza left and uh, some lines so I'm going to buy another one to complete it I don't have enough of it here is it just for this tutorial that's why I just said okay let me make use of this one that I just have for this tutorial so later on I'm going to you know buy another one to complete it you get but first of all right here I am going to just go ahead and uh, as it is two now I am going to go ahead and fold this inside like this I will seal it as you see me doing then after doing that I am going to place this one on top of the line after the one I sewed and there is as you can see it's going to give you a beautiful look you're not going to have a rough a rough work there so that is how you're going to do it then you repeat the same thing on this other side as you can see after I was done this was what I had can you see this is looking so beautiful it is very very okay it's looking so fine mm -hmm. this is the back view this is how the back view looks like can you see it's also looking so beautiful and very neat so you should go ahead and do yours like this make sure yours is as beautiful as this so I'm going to place this on my mannequin so you guys see how it looks like very well. So this is it guys. I went ahead to place it on my mannequin as you can see. So after making your office, you are going to just go ahead and you know, tack it on your mannequin. Or if you have another way of sewing it so it's very tight, you do it. Just do it in a way that is going to give you a very neat work after you are done. So guys, this will be the end of our today's tutorial. Please, if you love this video, kindly subscribe so you get notifications when new video drops so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on my next one bye so many times that i miss you